Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading with me, Sarah from Divinely You. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. How was the um, full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio for you? I'm curious to know. You can leave me a comment um, down below if you would like to share your experience of this last weekend. It was pretty intense. I actually had a really good experience with it for it being a water sign. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you did as well. Um, so let's dive right in. We got from the ancient feminine wisdom, we got Pythia or prophecy. This is the prophecy card. And this kind of brings to mind for me anyway, is, um, um, diving deep into your soul purpose, um, you know, going forth with the divine's purpose for you, like what gift, what talent, what were you brought here to share with the world? And I feel like this is something that, um, maybe is a redirection or, um, like something that you weren't suspecting. Um, and just a, a matter of like releasing and letting go. In fact, you got the, from the believe in your own magic, uh, Oracle, you got the tower card, which is like that endings are inevitable. And uh, yeah, I feel like there's something that's ending for you that you may still be attached to probably. And um, this is an opportunity to practice detachment because your soul's mission and purpose is available for you. I mean, it always is, but obviously because you drew this card, the prophecy card, it's, it's greater for you. Um, in this moment, in this energy is like releasing the old, letting it go, um, and detaching from whatever and following your intuition, following your heart, following your soul, and really getting in tune with, you know, what you're here to do and, uh, the mission, the purpose that you're here for in this time and space. Um, you know, you've got mercury retrograde in your sign right now. It's going to move into Taurus by the end of the week. And it's going to Kazini, uh, which is means that it's going to hit the zero point of Gemini, um, on Saturday. And, uh, so maybe this is like a deep dive moment for you as it's still in Gemini this week. And before it moves uh, back into Taurus, um, is maybe this is like a deep dive emotional moment where it's a practice of detachment and letting go and, you know, dissolving the old and allowing in this mission, this purpose that you're here to serve and support. Um, I definitely feel like it's some strong energy. Like it may be, I think that a lot of us are experiencing stuff that's just unavoidable at this point. Like we have to dive in, we have to do the work um, because the energy is just here and whatever is not available to us anymore is literally going away. It's dissolving, it's dissipating. And um, so in some ways, the universe sometimes doesn't give us a choice. Like the universe is done with you having that experience and takes it away in some way, shape or form, but it's to welcome in or invite in the new, the, the unexpected, the, um, you know, the, the thing that you're here to do the big thing, right. But you had to have had those experiences in order to be prepared for the big thing, right. There's always a reason why we have the experiences we have, whether that's a crappy job, a bad relationship or whatever, like there's no need to, you know, I mean, obviously you have your grief about it and have your somber about it. That's important, but it's also like a moment of, um, releasing it and letting it have been, and it taught you the thing. And now you're ready to move into this greater, bigger thing. So spending you my best Gemini, this actually seems like a really big, uh, maybe like your big pop, your big bang moment. Um, and so I feel like that could be, it could be really good for you on the other side of releasing, letting go and letting, letting the endings just be and, um, moving forward. So I hope that was helpful. If you are interested in a private reading with me, with the oracles, with the tarot, uh, with my Reiki experience, coaching experience, and my energetic intuition, um, you can drop me an email below and we can make that happen. So if something came up for you, maybe during this moon, maybe it was during this reading, 
and you really want some support around it, um, just reach out and we can make that happen. So I appreciate you all. Thank you for tuning in, Gemini. And I'm sending you all, all kinds of love and support and uh, take care and have a good week. See you next time.